I'm Scott Al Miller, and this is my life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today, Jimmy has just come down for the last two days from Texas, and he's trying out Nicaragua for the first time. So he's going to be joining us here on the beach and giving us his impression of what it's like being here in Nicaragua as a first timer coming to check it out, but as someone who discovered Nicaragua through the show. So Jimmy's going to be bringing uh, himself out here from the Sipple on Las Benitas Beach right after that bump. All right, we're out here with Jimmy. Welcome to Las Benitas. This is one of the two city beaches of Leon. So you got in, so we're currently recording this on Friday afternoon. So just so we can make the reference, you got in on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, Thursday morning, three o'clock in the morning, two hour drive from the Managua. Yeah. All right, so you had essentially one full day and then today, which is almost full. Yeah. All right, so. Less than 48 hours. So it's not often that we get a chance to get a first impression yeah. like as it's happening. What, uh, so, okay. What, what kind of brought you here? What, what motivated you to Nicaragua? And, and what do you think as the, the very first, like now that you're on the ground seeing it? Mm, all right. <laughs> well, it's your fault that I'm here. <laughs> so, but what I was looking for and you, you delivered the information, uh, it's not a fault, it's a, it's a blessing really, that um, I just looking for tranquil, uh, tranquility of life. Uh, relaxed, uh, calm, uh, old school family values, uh, respect for life, and everybody just relax and not be in such a rush about to do anything. And uh, then I found you on YouTube, and uh, many, many, many over a year of watching your videos. Wow, yeah. that's uh, stamina. Time. <laughs> it's a lot of videos. Yeah, it is. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. You're the one doing it. <laughs> All right, so awesome. So you watched the videos, you learned about Nicaragua, and now you've been here for almost 48 hours. What do you think? I'm coming back. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll be here as soon as possible. Um, from what the information has been delivered, I didn't doubt it. I was 95% sure that this was real information. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is. <laughs> I talk about that you have to smell the air. You have to get like, you have to really get the impression of a place because no matter how much you know or see, like you don't really know what it's gonna feel like. You don't know what the vibe is really gonna be for you. And I always worry, because I know people have come down and a lot have stayed, but I know people have come down and been like, what have I done? And like they leapt into it and they found that like nothing jived with them and they just weren't connecting with the place. So I always worry because that's that's such an important thing. Which, yeah. I mean, you're only here for a week right now, so like it could have been terrible and you'd been like, yeah, all right, just a vacation week, but. Just uh, pay attention to what Scott's saying, no doubt about it. Uh, really understand that uh, this is a place of exactly what he's saying. He's He explains things extremely thorough, no doubt about it, no doubt about it. Um, and he's accurate, very, very, very accurate. And uh, it's it, Nicaragua is a beautiful, it reminds me of being a kid in the 80s where kids go out and play in the streets all the time. And uh, I see that within my short amount of time out here. It's just, it's bliss. It's, it's what he says. And we have a gorgeous, well, okay, it was gorgeous when I started to say it. There was a sunset that we're looking at, but it, <laughs> the clouds took the sun away. It's still a very nice view of the ocean. Yeah. But uh, there, there was sun and now, now it's a little bit darker. So that's... That's unfortunate. This is one of the greatest sunset spots because of how the, the beach angles around. Yeah. So this is actually better than like all that beach up there and all that beach down there. So this, this little bit right here is kind of, kind of special even for the area. But uh, so you've, you've had a few hours here on the beach mm -hmm. and you've had a bit of time in the city. You did some, some church tours you did some yep. drinking last night on your oh, first night had a great time <laughs> that was a lot of fun lost my hat didn't care about another one good to go <laughs> but uh the uh, san juan del sur you could eat your heart out most likely with uh what we just witnessed out here no offense but uh it's a beautiful place it's beautiful 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 <laughs> san juan place. does get beautiful sunsets yeah they really I've do seen the videos yeah i've seen yours too yeah, yeah with yeah. The, the way the hills are i do like that Unfortunately, it's cloudy because uh, it's, for those of you who watch the live stream, um, Solomon Islands Photography, who owns that house right there, um, it has a shot from 12 years ago 
from behind these rocks behind us, which I'll step, so the, behind those rocks, and from <laughs> there, you can actually see the largest volcano in the region is right there, and it's just, there's clouds, so you can't see it, but there's a huge volcano right there, there's and then this beautiful sunset here. How many so, volcanoes are there? There's I, a lot. There are a lot. I like don't know. I was going to say, like I think that. it's 17. Yeah, think yeah. It's 17. that's the number that sticks in my head. Um, but there's there's two on the island, or two islands, depending on how you define that. And there is, uh, well, because it, it was originally two islands and they grew until they merged together. Mm -hmm. So now it's just Ometepe, but it was two islands at one point. But it's 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 like an eight. Yeah. So there's like a, there's a really clear division. So they refer to it as the West Island and the East Island or the North, Top Island and the Bottom Island. But it's technically one island. Uh, but there's two there. <laughs> and they're like the only ones in the South. And then there's a big one at Granada. <laughs> and then there's a couple in the Managua zone, like there's Messiah and then the ones in Managua. And then yeah, having a Tonya, got to have Tonya here on the show. Then here in Leon, we have many. And the ones here go uh, this direction, but they also go several deep that direction. So we have, we have a whole volcano zone. Yeah. And then Chinandega, which is up there. Um, so maybe 20 kilometers up starts turning into Chinandega. It's not real far, but it's, it's not like right there. Um, and we can see several of their volcanoes from here on clear days. Uh, if you're on the Ponoloya Road, all the ones you see as you drive, that's actually the Chinandegas. Yeah. So I think Leon actually has the largest number of them. Chinandega has the biggest one, the one that yeah. like everyone pictures. Ometepe has the really iconic ones on the island. Yeah. Uh, Granada has the one that destroyed the city long ago. Mm -hmm. Um, Leon has the one that actually Pompeyed the old Leon. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 that's actually a site you can go see. The buildings uh, no longer uh, built over yeah. two or three stories? No, that's Venago. That was earthquake. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the Leon oh, Viejo yeah, yeah, okay, okay. had a ash flow that actually wiped out the city, but they expected it, so they evacuated before it happened. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not a resting place of people. It's just all the city was wiped out. Um, and so the city moved like, I don't know, 20, 30 years before the volcano nice erupted. Yeah, nice and nice. they're just like, someone went and said, that's a volcano <laughs> and we're below it. Oh, what a bad idea. Yeah. And they moved, Fun, but man. you can still go see it. So now it's an archeological site and it's mm -hmm. really, it's a nice, nice day trip and it's right by the lake. So it's, it's a cool place to go. We're like in the middle of the volcanoes here. And so we have the best, yeah. if you get up high, like even here on the beach, if you were up maybe from here about four stories, the views are just volcanoes the whole way. Yeah, there's uh, right back there. There's a platform that uh, I don't know if that's a business, but I think it, it is, is not. That's a guy's house. Is that? That's my neighbor. That, like four star. It, it is. No, no, the house next to it yeah. is fine. Um, but that that top floor. Scott is, Allen Miller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the but it, yeah, so it's an American that owns that place. Uh, technically, I'm two doors. Uh, Andrew lives in between. The top floor, uh, he built because he wanted to have the highest spot. And he used to be the highest spot and someone built up the same. And so he built another floor above. But yeah, his view would, uh, he would be able to see the that, volcanoes everywhere. Good. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. And if you're, the reason I know that if you go up four stories, so if you go to the backside of town, yeah. the backside's about two stories taller than the front. Yeah. So it's not a lot of incline, but that's, you notice. Yeah. So if you build up back there, a two story house has views of everything. It's kind of like the uh, church. Um, the, what, what's the church, the white church that Downtown? you're able to walk on? Yeah. So they call it Catedral. Yeah. But it's actually Beautiful. the it's the Basilica Beautiful. of Leon. Okay. But whoever named it was like, I don't know what a basilica is. We're going to call it the cathedral. Like cathedral is below a basilica. So it's kind of like having a cathedral and calling it the church. Ooh. Like it's weird. I don't know why. It's beautiful. I don't know why that happened, but it's um, it's it, it is a basilica. And the funny story there is that, and this is I've never been able. No one knows, right? It, this is the rumor. It's an outsized basilica for Central America. It does not fit at all. It's enormous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. The yeah. story was that the um, city of Leon, which was older, and the uh, city of uh, Lima both got elevated to basilica status at the same time and the ships delivering the plans what, what does that mean uh, the basilica status so they moved to being a seat of the uh, archbishop I believe gotcha. that is true okay, a regular okay, okay. cathedral has a bishop okay and then I I think that's right so it's a it's a higher level you have to become a cathedral and then you get elevated to a basilica mm -hmm. so a church location is like a diocese Right. So you have okay. a priest that oversees a church okay. and then you can move up to a cathedral and you have to have 
you have to have special permissions and stuff. And then a cathedral location can be moved up to a basilica. So we have a basilica here, Managua got a basilica, and I'm not sure if there's another. In this region, obviously Guatemala has a basilica. Um, so, but Leon was a really important seat of, of the Catholic Church at the time, as was Lima, Peru. And the, the story goes that the boats went to the wrong location, but we're closer to Spain. So we received the boat while the other boat was still on its way, because it's, it's another two weeks sailing, I'm making up the numbers, but it's probably two weeks sailing that way <laughs> to get to Lima. Like it's way, way, way down there, right? This is not close. So the church here got the plans and immediately realized they had the plans for Lima. So they broke ground as fast as they could so that they couldn't take them back. <laughs> wow. So we have, in theory, this is the Cathedral of, of Lima. Sounds like a lot of treasure here. hunting as well. Yes. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, I, now whether that's a true story or just that's the one that everyone repeats. But this is also Nicaragua. So there's a lot of stories like that. And then you're like, is there actually a basis in that? And then, then when you look into it, maybe not. But that one I've heard a lot, and it makes sense because the cathedral here is ridiculously large and does not match anything else. If you go to Granada and check it's out the... Beautiful. Yeah, it's bigger than the one in Managua. It's way bigger than the one in Granada, mm -hmm. which is the same age city. And it's like, why did this one at Leon get this? And we were the poor city. The uh, the tour, though, uh, whenever you get to walk on, you get to walk on top of uh, the cathedral. Uh, you don't, you know, barefoot, all that stuff. Uh, there's a lot of space to actually really walk on. It's three dollars per American, uh, and then it's uh, it, it's a little bit less if uh, you're native. Obviously, that makes yeah, sense. Generally, a lot. But less. it's super. If you get thirty minutes on top of this, and uh, it's one hundred percent worth every single penny. Do it if you're coming out to Leon. Yes, get it done. <laughs> there's a lot of. Um, real history here that you can really think about see it feel it touch it texture and also tonya and have a tonya relax so have a good time you may not know but the city just celebrated 500 years a few weeks ago oh okay so this is we're really just just hitting a half millennium wow. here in leon that's imp wow. yeah june okay. 9th i think it's the right date i think uh, yeah i think i heard a little bit about that on your prior shows yeah yeah so it's uh i know we have an episode so if you want to know what it is, you can go look up the episode. I ran one that said happy birthday, Leon. But so this is a really big year because it's 500 years of the city. <laughs> when we started, the ocean was a ways away. Now the ocean's a few feet away yeah. and it comes in fast. It will go. So the viewers can't really see this, but uh, it goes from way out. So like these rocks will nearly connect to those rocks at low tide. And yep. this is just a big flat open area. I've shown yep. this on the show in the last few months, yep. but at the highest tide, the water can hit the buildings. Yeah. And so everything we see here can be underwater. Yep. It was, doesn't typically, but. I, I was walking uh, earlier today and uh, I came from uh, the north and then headed south to over here to uh, Civil Beach. Beautiful, awesome. and. Uh, it almost really was landlocked with the uh, different uh, rock formations, yeah. uh, what he's talking about, and now high tide's coming in, and uh, the surfers came and went. It was beautiful. Yeah, Very it just got a beautiful. lot darker out here. Yeah. I think we may have a storm rolling in. It doesn't really look stormy, but boy, is it a lot darker Ooh. than it was. I mean, the sun is really low out there now, but so, but we've only been here for 12 minutes, and we went from water really far away. Uh, it's now six feet away. Like that's ish. That's two meters. Yeah. Um, we might be swimming, but we're going to keep going. Yeah, it gets it gets closer as we talk. It's noticeable. Um, <laughs> yeah. So there's actually this is actually surprising. The city's 500. We have the most amazing cathedral. We have the most beautiful beach. We don't have a lot of sites in Leon. People always ask me like, what are the sites to go see? And I'm always like, well, the square and the cathedral. Ah. Uh, Why? Well, there's like, it's a beautiful city. Yeah. And like, so you can go see churches, of course. Yeah. And you can walk around and just see architecture mm -hmm. all over. And there's the, so we're the city of revolution. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. our, the official name of the city is Leon, yeah. first city of revolution. Yeah. And we joke that our number one export is revolution, right? Our real number one export is education. But the joke is that it's, that it's revolution. And so there's the uh, museum of the revolution mm -hmm. is here. There's a lot of museums of the revolution in the country, but this is as far as I know, the museum of the revolution. 
question for you yeah. uh, about uh, about that. Uh, the different. So when you're walking around, it's like a block of it, and it's you can't drive through it. Yeah, uh, and it has those different. Yes. Uh, so those it, are the. It's a pedestrian way. Yeah. It's the heroes and martyrs, heroes yeah, and martyrs. Yeah. It's, so it's kind of like a memorial of yes. education of the history of what things happen with pictures, like real pictures of right. who, what, when, where, how, and why. We're talking about a lot of pictures of. Uh, how would you explain those portraits? But they're so permanently they're, installed. They're, yeah. So it's a relatively standard style here in the region um, that they're memorial markers. So they're not where they fell or anything like that. It's um, uh, there are it, instead of having historical memorials where people fell, mm -hmm. what they do here is they traditionally put these markers where they lived, and so they'll uh, celebration so, of life kind of thing. I would yes, imagine. and yeah. they and they tend to name neighborhoods after them. Makes so sense. all yeah. over. Yeah, no kidding, because I, I was reading them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So um, a okay. lot of times, if you, I'm sure you've seen my shows. I film in a field, mm -hmm. beautiful big open field. And if you look at my marker, I'll say it's at Carlos Canales. Yeah, yeah. Carlos Canales was a combatant who fell in 1978, 1979. Mm. And he's from a really, really, really remote village that had no solid identity. And so his village earned a marker and it was renamed Carlos Canales sometime after 1979. So if you go to Carlos Canales, not the field, if you go into the actual village, which is tiny, and, and Marcella, who you just met, uh, she and I did an episode there one time and she actually, they, it's a village that is, all the houses are around a central water pump. It still has a manual water pump for the village. Oh, okay. And so we went and we filmed her using the water pump. And it's a cute little village and it's got a cute little uh, village. It's like uh, 15 houses. Okay. And it's got a little tiny uh, park that they put in, playground for the kids, that kind of stuff next to the water pump. And it's actually kind of cute and it has a baseball field because you can't have a village in Nicaragua without a baseball field. That's numero uno. Yeah, it really is. And uh, uh, then in the, the center of town is a memorial marker Ooh. for Carlos Canales. And so that was like their, they build the town kind of That's around that. Man, and yeah. you'll find them throughout the Leon neighborhoods You'll find them on the highways. You'll find like remote spots because um, people came from everywhere. Obviously, kind of like um, uh, what are those called? Uh, uh, the memory markers that we have in the United States. Uh, yes, so they're historic, like markers. Yeah, yeah, historical markers. Yeah, historical markers. Yeah, they're like that, except they're like historic markers, but they're specifically for the memorials. Yeah. And then what they do in Leon downtown is they basically collect those from around the region and copy them and have them on the street of heroes and martyrs. Yeah. And so it's, uh, it was one street, and now it's in the process of turning into four. And it's all the directions going off Central Park, and, you, and it's all pedestrian ways, which is a really nice upgrade. Yeah. Like, it used to be kind of just eh streets. Like, they weren't bad, but they were nothing special. And now they're turning them into these beautiful tree-lined memorial walkways that are pedestrian nice. only. Yeah. And so they have these beautiful new memorials with photographs and articles about the person. So you can see them and really remember them. Their families can come and be like, it's a really big mark of pride real, to have one of those. Real pictures too, real pictures. Right, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they're photographs. This, this isn't um, made up pictures. This is not, uh, this is real pictures. Yeah. Uh, even uh, the contour days. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. All yeah. that stuff too, yeah. Yep, and uh, and then they plant trees mm -hmm. uh, and it's a big upgrade. So they've, they've just put in one of those streets. One has been here for years. One went in like in the last three months. So it's pretty new. Uh, but as an example of one of the people that's that's always there and is also has a number of memorials here in Leon, and I don't know what her connection is here to Leon versus just the country, but Arlen Siu was the child martyr of the revolution. She was about 21. She was um, the largest singer-songwriter in the country uh, in the 1970s. And uh, so she um, uh, decided to join the revolution, was really young, gave up a really... I think, Big I, saw, musical I, career. I think I saw her last night walking through. Yes, so she's there. Yeah. She also has the bridge as you leave Leon is Arlen Sioux Bridge. She has a neighborhood named after her. Makes sense. The nice. park in Sutiava and the zoo are named after her. And her name is the name of Nicaraguan Special Forces. So the highest uh, ranking wow. of the police, obviously a general is the highest ranking, That's but not. the highest unit that you can serve in is the Arlen CU Special Forces. That's what I love about this place. It's uh, very respectful, thoroughly, uh, with guidelines, very simple, very simple living, but it's respect. There's a lot of respect of prior, past, and educational 
uh, thought processes for the general public whenever you visit here to be able to see, realize it, and understand it and talk with people about it because it's very simple to talk with people out here. Definitely learn Spanish. I need to work on mine 100%, no doubt about it, but uh, everybody here is very accepting. It reminds me of being a kid, like whenever I was uh, 1980s running around the streets, you know, causing chaos, mayhem, you know, as a kid, you know. Everybody's having fun. It's very family oriented. And it's, it's I'll be back. <laughs> And you can see the families at all the restaurants here. Like just yeah. everyone sits out on the beach. The kids are playing in the water. We got the kids we're with right here playing in the water. Yeah. And uh, it's so around uh, Leon, there are a number of museums. Revolution, definitely, yeah. uh, which is multiple buildings. There's one right on the square that you can still see where the bombs fell through the roof. Wow. So that one, that one's kind of cool. Yeah. If you if you make friends with the guy, they'll actually let you go up on the roof and they'll be like, don't sit there. <laughs> Don't sit there. Um, but then they have the new. I appreciate uh, that, so Mel. it's really close to re to your hotel, just north of El Convento. Okay. Is the new museum of the revolution? Like they took over another building. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I just didn't know what it was. Yep. So that's I haven't been in it since they've redone it. So okay. I'm I'm excited to see it. I need to do that. Um, the uh, Miss and Legends, which I filmed a couple years ago, very cool. That one was actually a military installation. Mm -hmm. That when they took it over, they made it into a museum. Um, and it's uh, it's a memorial because a lot of really important people were, were executed there. Uh, so it was a political prison. It was called, I think it was 21, Prison 21. Um, and so here they actually just call it At the 21, but we all call it the Museum of Myths and Legends. Mm. So it's an old prison, but it's got amazing views. It's just south of the cathedral. It's right in the city. The uh, church across the street from it was bombed and they left it in wreckage as a memorial. Yeah. So it's all burned out. Most of it's blown away. Okay. Um, I'm uh, kind of passing through a little bit, and uh, there's some of these buildings that you're probably that you're talking about that I think yep. might be them, but I just don't know. Yeah. But thank you very much. To, yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> and then we have the best art museum in Central America is here. Okay. So for those who are, so we do have museums, uh, but there's really not a lot of sites. Mostly, Leon is a city to live in. That's makes sense. That's which is place. yeah, which is in many ways Nicaragua in general. I think is kind of it. So Leon's a, a microcosm of Nicaragua, but Nicaragua is not a country. So Costa Rica, right, really has and they and they do like it's legit. They have a lot of like attractions. Yeah. Like oh, here's this. Okay, we're definitely getting closer to the water. Uh, they have really amazing like jungle experiences mm -hmm. they have really resorty beaches not like a beach like we have, we have eight. zip lines and stuff oh, here we I'm have sure them we do. yeah sure. it's like one percent like like costa rica it's like their thing right, yeah. like they like Tourism. invented the zip line um <laughs> we're like oh yeah we can put in a zip line so we have one i've never actually seen one in person here but i know they exist <laughs> somewhere i've seen um, a few on youtube i think yeah like you can yeah. if you're into that stuff we have volcano boarding though yeah, Leon is the city that's of volcano boarding, and uh, you'll probably meet the volcano boarding guys tonight. Dig it. Yeah, right on. Uh, so that's actually a fun thing to do. I'm game. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. You should give I, that a try. Gotta learn how to surf um, too. We got a couple yes. of surf teams. So Brian, yeah, Brian, right here. We're gonna. Take, I don't know how dark this is gonna be. <laughs> this this place directly behind me is on to surf surf school. Come see Brian. That is the. If you're gonna learn to surf, that is the place to do it in Nicaragua. And uh, let's see how dark we are. No, we're not that bad. And uh, I'm not burned. I'm not red. <laughs> you're definitely not going to get burned out here tonight. <laughs> like, you're we're safe. Um, uh, yeah, volcano boarding, doing volcano stuff. We're the city yeah. of, so we have volcano boarding and hiking. Mm -hmm. Messiah has volcano looking into the lava, yeah, the but live, I yeah, think it's still volcano. closed. <laughs> um, and then, because it, it erupted recently, like, oh, no like, like two months ago. Really? Like, yes. that? was it bad? It, 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 no, it's just that if you, if any lava comes out, yeah. it would kill everyone. So they close it off. It oh, was like it was like it threw a lot of smoke. So they just have to, yeah. It's <laughs> but everything's peachy king. Everything's fine. Right. But but Ometepe erupted, and like really erupted. That one went boom and came down in Moyo oh, sure. Yeah. So that was they almost had to evacuate the island, but it ended up being okay. But they were buried. Like we lost contact for a day and we're, everybody's hoping they're okay. <laughs> like, wow. they, cause they're trapped on an island. Yeah. Um, but then the big one up here, San Cristobal, that one will drop on Chinandega. And Chinandega is a big city, right? 200,000. And uh, so, so having a volcano just spewing onto a city of 200,000 has its complications. Um, like you can't drive. 
no. clogs your radiators, you no. can't breathe, like it's tough. So I have to evacuate the city when that happens. <laughs> you it can't isn't, breathe, nothing's going to happen. It's really bad. They don't get lava wow. flows, so like you have time to leave, but you have to evacuate the city. Like, it's a mess. Um, yeah. And I've, ha I've gone through it when there was ash on the street before, so. But those are the big ones. And, and then you can hike the ones in Ometepe when they're not erupting like that. And, uh, and the one in Granada is extinct. And that one um, has a cloud forest that you can go up oh, and, yeah. and like hike the cloud forest. That so that one's fun. supposed to be really yeah. cool. Yeah. We need to check that out. Yeah. I do. I need you to do. Already have. I've never actually climbed that, even though I lived at the right. base of it. And it does smoke sometimes. It's extinct. Um, if it erupts, it will wipe out the city. Well, <laughs> let's, let's make a show of it. I'll yeah. Go with it. Yeah, we could do that. I want to do. Um, at one point, Cami, who was on the show a year ago, like last month, uh, she had wanted to do a road trip and do all the volcanoes and That's like at least not, not climb them all, but at least go to them all and be like, yeah. here's this one, drive to the next one, here's this one. And uh, we didn't manage to do it, but we did do some cool volcano stuff because here in Leon also, but way outside the city, uh, we have the, the hot springs where the mud bubbles mm -hmm. from the base of the volcano. That's pretty cool. Boiling, yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's an <laughs> interesting high. thing. It's, it is. Boiling mud is very hot and you have to walk on it. So you have to be, it's, it's dangerous because if you misstep, you can go down and it's. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll test the theory a little bit, but. <laughs> that was one of the first things we ever filmed with the 360 camera. Oh. So I walked with it. And so you got, so I got some cool shots of it. It was a neat day, but um, it is. Especially when it gets hot here in the middle of the day. Imagine how hot it is standing on boiling mud and when it's really hot. So, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, what I was saying is in Nicaragua, uh, so Costa Rica is full of attractions. Mm -hmm. And so it's really easy to vacation in Costa Rica and be like, I'm going to go see this thing. I'm going to go see that thing. And, and you're never going to see it all because there's so many things to see. So many museums, big city, all kinds of stuff. Nicaragua is really like a bedroom community. It's a... Everything's really well designed. Well, and I lived in Dallas, yeah. right? Dallas doesn't have, right. Dallas doesn't have attractions, and yet it's my favorite city in the U.S. to live in. But if you go to Austin, it's full of attractions. I don't want to live there. Mm -mm. Like I love visiting. It's fun to go drink. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> like but yeah, go see Austin city limits. Good friends done out that. There. Yeah. yeah, like it's a beautiful city. Oh, you gotta get Round Rock Donuts. But. But that's like it. Like, so, so Austin is, everyone is so like, I got to go to Austin. But then when you get there, you're like, but living here isn't great. And then Dallas, you're like, who would go to Dallas? And then you move there and you're like, oh, it's way more affordable. It's way nicer. It's just nice every day. Nicaragua has that going for it, that it's a place you go to live. And Costa Rica is really family oriented is a big, that, that's the big point, really. It's, uh, it's in depth, family oriented, in depth. It's not just a, it's, it's yeah. It families, they live together. They yeah. they go places together. People really do put in a lot of it's family time. So. Yeah. All right. Well, Jimmy, thanks for coming out. I'm and so uh, it's great having you on the show. Yeah. We're about to head to Via Via and uh, get wasted. That is our plan. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do. Uh, we got a load of, yeah, Jimmy's barely <laughs> been here. We're like, everyone wants to go to Via Via tonight. So we're just going to go out. So he gets to meet like the gang. Uh, you'll probably meet Janet from, from the live stream that's always right. on. And like, there's probably going to be a lot of people that you're going to meet out there. So we're going to go do that. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And as always, I will see all of you tomorrow. And we're going to pop up some videos on the screen. There's really very little chance that I will do this before you see the video. But in case I do, click on one of them, please. And if I don't or it doesn't pop up on the device you have, just scroll down and click on another video. I would appreciate it. See you tomorrow.